Paul Hall is a prime example of a passionate lifetime 4-H'er. Thankfully, he never aged out. My association and friendship with Paul and Jill began in 2008 when I was asked to join the Kentucky 4-H Foundation. Paul was chairman at the time and guided us through many stages of development, which included some real growing pains. Paul was and is a driving force behind the growth of our foundation. We have benefited greatly from his acumen and extensive experience in business, as well as his generous gifts of time and monetary donations. When the foundation had grown to the point of needing a director of advancement, Paul chaired the personnel committee. With the assistance of our very capable executive director, Melissa Miller, our committee was able to successfully hire Ben Carr, who is a real asset to the foundation. Of all the contributions Paul has made to the foundation, there is one that we think of as being synonymous with Paul. His vision and determination was the impetus for the hard work on the part of many people to reinstate an achievement program with a competitive component in Kentucky 4-H and to select four Emerald winners each year. Although Paul has rotated off the board, he remains a vital member of the Achievement Committee as well as one of the sponsors of the Emerald Awards. Most recently, true to Paul and Jill's ongoing desire to encourage personal development and to promote 4-H, they are sponsoring two $1,000 foundation scholarships for current college students. The Paul and Jill Hall Expand Your Horizon Scholarship. Thank you, Paul, for all you have and continue to do for Kentucky 4-H. Kentucky 4-H has had state 4-H officers for nearly 100 years, but it was in the mid-1970s a new movement was underway to empower teens. Our honoree this evening was at the pinnacle of this effort we know as the Kentucky State 4-H Teen Council. Paul was elected State 4-H President in 1975, and it was during his term that the Teen Council came to be with the adoption of the bylaws in Falmouth, Kentucky, Paul's hometown. It was during his term as State 4-H President that Paul's influence on 4-H as we know it today began. Not only did Paul increase the role and the image of state officers in the Teen Council, he set course in preparing Kentucky 4-H for the last two decades of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st. Many don't know that even after his term as State 4-H President, Paul didn't quit being a 4-H'er. As his term ended, Paul stepped up to lead another challenge, one even bigger than his term as President. Paul, as past President, led the Teen Council to challenge Kentucky 4-H to establish its first endowment. Volunteer leaders, agents, and state staff questioned the ability to accomplish such a task. Nevertheless, Paul announced that we would create the Conrad Feltner Leadership Endowment, and within a year, we would raise $12,000. The goal was achieved, and today that fund has honored some of Kentucky's greatest volunteers and 4-H'ers for over 40 years. From State 4-H President to establishing our first endowment, to beating the drum to organize 4-H alumni, as we entered the 21st century, Paul landed on the board of Friends of Kentucky 4-H the forerunner to the 4-H Foundation. In the past 20 years, he's continued to challenge and push the envelope for what 4-H can and should do for our youth. When the history of Kentucky 4-H is written, many years in the future, Paul will be among those who have spent a lifetime making the best better. The thing I know about Paul is that he has a passion for honoring the youth of Kentucky through 4-H. The very first project we ever worked on, we were in college, and he had an idea for the Conrad Feltner program. He wanted a way to honor Conrad for all he had done for us, so he went about building a coalition of people who would donate and fund the Conrad Feltner program. Fast forward several years, and um, I had not been living in Kentucky, and we were back, and um, Paul got me involved in the Kentucky 4-H Foundation. 
He was going out as chairman when I came on the board and it is always so much fun to work with Paul on various projects. Through his passion and my passion for um, honoring 4-H'ers, we work together on the Achievement Program. I've had the opportunity to serve on the Achievement Committee with him for several years, and I've also had the opportunity to stand beside him as a sponsor for the Emerald Awards. Truly, Paul has this way of determining how he wants to honor youth, how he wants to build a coalition of people to make that happen, and how to come up with the funding. Um, Paul, congratulations on this amazing award, and you are so deserving, and I am privileged to be part of your life and Jill's life over all these years. I'm Deborah Myers, proud Kentucky 4-H alumna. I will never forget my first time meeting Paul Hall. I was interviewing for the Emerald Award and advanced on to one of the final stages. I remember sitting in that room and being absolutely terrified. My knees were shaking and I had the clammiest hands, but within the first few seconds of that interview, I was put at ease. Mr. Hall is the kind of person that has that sense of kindness and generosity that can make anyone feel comfortable. And as our conversation went on and I heard about his 4-H story, it became evident that we both shared a love for the 4-H program. It's been five years since I first met Mr. Hall, but since then, my respect and admiration for him has only grown. He truly is someone who leads with a heart of servitude and is committed to making our 4-H program the best, even better. More than that though, Mr. Hall serves as an example that although we might age out of 4-H, our journey with this program never ends. When I think of the Emerald Award and all that it represents, I can think of no one better suited for this distinction than Paul Hall. On behalf of myself and the thousands of 4-H members whose lives you have touched, thank you. Congratulations, Paul, on receiving the Emerald Award. I cannot think of a better person to receive this award for all that you have done for 4-H throughout the years. I remember meeting you for the first time when I became 4-H State Secretary and you became the President for the State of Kentucky. And I was a shy girl and you were there to support me to make my best better throughout the entire year. As we worked together side by side with you and Marty and myself and traveling across the state of Kentucky and helping 4-H'ers to become their best that they could be. And you continue to do that and continue to do that throughout the years for all of 4-H throughout Kentucky. And I just admire you for that. I was a fun year. I, we had a lot of fun moments, but we worked really hard as well. And you were there to lead us through all of it. And then your brilliant idea to begin the State Leadership Council. And that was just a great opportunity for all of us to become a part of the State Leadership Council. And the learning continued as we continued to make our best better, not only for ourselves, but for our community. And we truly did become that whole person with our head and our heart and our hands and our health and, and continuing to make it better and better and better. So again, I thank you for all that you did for me personally, but also for the state of Kentucky and all the 4-H'ers. Thank you.